I don't know why, but I really like whittling dinosaurs. One day I will make a whole Jurassic Park. But for now, I decided to make a little tutorial for you. Before carving anything, it is always a good idea to make a few sketches. Don't make them too detailed, especially if you are carving from a small chunk of wood. Exaggerate their features. For example, if you are whittling T-Rex, make his arms really tiny to emphasize that this is a caricature. We are going to carve this dinosaur. I'm using a piece of u tile. I hope I pronounce it correctly. It's a type of mahogany. I would recommend black walnut, mahogany or poplar, for example, but any hardwood will do really. I drew a basic shape, but then decided to draw it again with a pen, because pencil marks will be erased too easily. Now we can get rid of these chunks with a saw. If you have a table saw, then it will definitely make your life easier, but I will be using a simple coping saw. Two thousand years later. Now we are ready to whittle. I am using a flex cut knife. First we need to carve around the outline, removing all extra wood. You can start with stop cuts. When you cut into the wood and then meet that cut from another direction. That cut between the head and the body should go all the way. And so that's what I'm doing. Then I make that cut closer to the outline. Same thing with the tail, remove all extra wood, getting as close to the outline as possible. Also, 
Hardwood allows this kind of sweeping movement when you just curl your wrist. Basswood, from my experience, wouldn't allow that. Here it is, the rough form. The next step would be to define the neck, make it more curved. Now I'm defining the neck from another side and making the head more prominent. Of course the neck and the head are not going to stay so thick, but first we need to put a central line to keep our work symmetrical. Now we can start thinning our neck and the head. In the beginning I take the big chunks off, but of course you should be careful and not take too much. Then I make the head slightly rounded and also smooth the transition between the body and the neck.
Now we will make the tail thinner. But first define the position of the feet, so that you wouldn't accidentally chop them off. Here it is. As you can see, the tail gets gradually thinner at the end. Now I will make the whole body even more rounded. Now it's time to make legs. Remove that wood in between and also before the tail. You can leave it like that, but I prefer having four separate feet.
Round your feet a little, so that they don't stay square. Almost there, just need to make this tail a bit more rounded and smooth. And here it is, all done. I'm going to sand it first with 120 and then with 400. Nice and smooth. The last thing that is left to do is to finish it with some walnut oil. It will really bring out the shine and the color. Here it is nice and ready. I hope you liked this little tutorial.